Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the creative edition of Combos and Coffee. Um, I'm Sherelle, and I have with me... I'm Sarah, and we have a special guest with us today, my husband, James. Now, he's usually up in the sound booth taking care of the lighting and the sound and all the tech, so a lot of people actually ask me, who's your husband? He's upstairs in the booth, and now you get to see his handsome face. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, the first question is, uh, when did they meet? So what we're going to talk about is uh, when did we meet as a group? So it was uh, a September Sunday morning in 2018, and we were having creative auditions, and Pastor Pauline shows up with somebody that's just absolutely gorgeous, but very quiet, and just looking at me like, and I'm like, who's this? Oh, it's real cool. Little did we know, a few years later, we would be sitting at Condos and Coffee, Coffee. talking about how we met. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so the next question uh, is, your favorite hobby or pastime? My favorite hobby or pastime, anything creative and sleeping. How about you guys? Uh, for me, it's uh, cuddling on the sofa, watching TV. And uh, for me, it's actually exploring. I love exploring little cafes and going to brand new different spots that just are creative and, and fun. Okay, next one. This is a fun one. What's your biggest pet peeve? Ooh, uh, bad drivers. Pet peeve. My pet peeve would be improper um, prepping of food. This is what technology does to me. <sighs> Introvert or extrovert? Ambivert. Ambivert. <laughs> Depending on the day, right? Uh, no, I am definitely an extrovert through and through. Um, sometimes I'm like, maybe I'm an introvert. And Jamie's like, mm-mm. <laughs> definitely an extrovert. I am definitely an introvert. So three things you'd want on a deserted island. One per person. Go. Ooh. Wings. A camera. I would definitely go for a knife. If I have a knife, I can survive. The serious answer. Right? Where do you um, to travel? What's your favorite destination? Australia. Love those beaches. The waves. The coffee. Ah, oh. <laughs> I think mine would be the Cayman Islands. Yeah. It's a lovely blend between Jamaica and like Canada, United States vibes. Mm. Nice. Good times. All right, here's a good one. Most loved scripture and why? Ooh, I have a few of those. But the two that I'm going to choose. I know. How are you supposed to pick? <laughs> um, I would say Jeremiah 29, 11. Um, I know the plans that I have mm. for you. And Ephesians 2, 10. I am his masterpiece. And both because every time that I forget or start to forget or doubt myself or think negatively, I think of those two. And I remember that I'm created uniquely and I'm created through love so that I can love and I can show love and give love on purpose. I'm created on purpose. Uh, mine, uh, you said it actually, it was uh, Jeremiah uh, for uh, another plans for you. Uh, that one, uh, when I was in school by myself for the first time really got me through uh, that season because uh, it was the first time I was away from home. That verse really got me through uh, a lot. Um, for me, it's an Ecclesiastes. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. That's Ecclesiastes 3, 11. Um, and I love that one because it's, it's just a, a verse that I've carried through my whole life, uh, knowing that there can be good seasons and there will be bad seasons, but even in the bad seasons, everything's going to work out. God's going to make everything beautiful in time, um, even if it doesn't feel like it is right now. So 
Amen. Yeah, that's it. Be sure to join us on Sunday for Sunday service, as well to tune in. Come and join us for prayer on Wednesdays at 6.30. And is there anything else that I'm missing? Have a good weekend.